Now, here's your host, Pete McTee. Well, good morning. Thank you. Thank you, and welcome to Pete McTee's Clubhouse. We have a great show planned for you today. In our studio audience today, here in the Clubhouse, we have Cub Pack 30 from Spring Grove. Yay, give yourselves a round of applause. And let's hear it for Captain Cool, real loud. Yay! Oh. Hey, Captain Cool. Good morning, Pete. Good morning, and how are you today? Good, feeling cool. Yeah, it's cool outside, too. It is cool outside. What's the cool word today, professor? You're not professor. No, I'm not professor. You can't say professor and cool in the same sentence no. because professor is goofy. And I have a much better hairdo. And Captain Cool is cool. So what's the cool word, Captain Cool? The cool word today, Pete, is stinky solutions. Well, maybe I should have called you Professor because yeah. that's something he would come up with. Stinky mm -hmm. solutions. You got what, it, Pete. What does that mean? There's nothing worse than having something stinky around. Oh, yeah. I know when Wembley needs a bath, he's real stinky. And that was my first cool word <laughs> is bath. Take a bath when you're stinky. That's, that's important. Right. And yes. especially with the, those dogs. Yeah, dogs need baths, too. Because mm -hmm. they get, like, fleas and bugs and stuff. That's right. And fur. And another cool idea is to use newspaper in the bottom of a kitty box so that makes for easy Dumping. Oh, that's a good idea. That's and, cool. Then it won't cool be stinky idea? anymore. You got it. And you can also use like an old tennis racket as a as a litter scooper. Uh, sift thingy. Yeah, sift yeah. thingy. Yeah, that's a cool idea. Yeah. Stinky solutions. And another thing we can do is use like comics out of the Sunday paper yeah. and make like a placemat for our pets. Yeah, and then they won't slobber all over the place. And to make a toy for your pets, yeah. like a dog, like a like a pool toy, yeah. you can take an old pair of pantyhose yeah. and tie some knots in it. And you can oh. make a pool toy or use like the, an old leg off of a pair of blue jeans. Okay, well thanks Captain Cole. I'll be back. Cool ideas. Uh -huh. And we'll be back with more fun. Don't go away. Cub Pack 30 from Spring Grove is visiting us today here in the clubhouse, and we have a great show planned, like I said earlier, so don't go away. If you're watching in your jammies, just lay down, relax. We're going to be here for another 20, 25 minutes. Let's wake up, Wembley. Wembley, are you awake? Come on out, Wembley. There he is. Hi, Wembley. Are you hungry? Boy, he loves Captain Cool's camera. Come over here, Wembley. Come on, boy. Okay. Now sit. Sit. All right. Now. Speak. Speak. All right. Should I give it to him? All right. There you go, Wembley. He's a good boy. Let's hear it for Wembley. Yay. He's a good dog. Hi, Scooter. Hi, Pete. Hi, Pete. Have to say hi to my computer, Scooter, the smartest computer in the world. Come on in. Hi, Pete. Hi, Sammy Joe. How are you? Fine. How are you doing today? Hey, red, white, and blue. I'm in the Olympic spirit today. We have uh, a special friend coming to the clubhouse yes, I know. today. It's a, it's a secret. It is a secret. The boys and girls have to keep watching because That's we right. have a very special guest coming on the we show do. a little later on. That's right. So you're in the spirit. You I'm have red, the... white, and blue, yeah. just like the American flag. You got it, Pete. I'm hey. feeling patriotic today. And what do you have there? Got some balls here. We're going to kick around some balls. Okay, Wembley's right behind you there. He's kind of sniffing around the clubhouse. Oh, yeah, he's just fin finishing up yeah. his biscuit. You know, Wembley does exercises, too. He looks like it. He's you know, in good shape. Yeah, when he wakes up, you, he stretches out. like uh -huh. he, you, know, you, you always say to stretch That's first. That's right. Wembley does that all the time. So, what are we going to do now? Don't look now, what? but just peek beside you. I just see a real bushy thing. <laughs> ah! I didn't want him to scare you again, he Pete. He always scares me, I especially know. his hair kind of. I, I think it it's looks kind of good. It's scary all the time. I think it time. looks kind of good. I think it looks kind of good. Sammy Joe, someday on the show, yes. we'll put Professor here and we'll play hair stylist. Oh, that would be great. Okay? We'll try to fix and that And we'll hair. wash his hair and cut it all and right. maybe perm it. Yes, Professor? No. What, you don't want to do that? <laughs> no. Why? No. That would be fun. Just say no. Okay. There you go. Well, I like my hair, Pete. Here. I work hard to get it this way. Yeah. Right. He is and particular I, I about his too. hair. Yeah. Hmm. Well, what do you got there, Sam? We're going to play, uh, play a, a, a game. Okay, got a ball. Yeah, well, we're going to start. 
put it on the ground? Put the ball on the ground, Professor. That I can do. Yeah, that's, can you do that? That's not hard at all. That's pretty no. good. No. Now, what we're going to do, we only have two here. Now, don't squash the ball, don't Professor. Don't step on the ball, Professor. That's, well, that's silly. Okay. Now, this okay. is great. You can do it in your house as long as you have a little bit of space. We're just going to kick the ball back kinda and forth like, like this. Kind of like a jellyfish there, Pete. Blue, blue, blue. Yeah, move yeah. it around. Well, kind of like soccer. Kinda, soccer right. stuff here. There you go. You two try it out. Okay. Just move your feet around a little bit. Oh. Okay, Professor, here, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, Pete, I lost, uh, Pete, I lost, I lost my ball. I have Did mine. You? Look, okay. I'm doing it. Here is this right, Sammy Joe? Here it is. Um, okay. Look, Sammy, there it is. Yeah. That's pretty um, deep. You've got to move it. You know, it's stuck between Pete, you your big like shoes. You look like a Pete. penguin. Where's the ball? Pete, I can't find it. Like Here a we go. Where is it? Let me see. Where's the ball? <laughs> there. Oh, there it is. Okay. <laughs> okay. Now you have to move your feet just a little bit. There we go. Good, Professor. No, Professor, you're not doing it right either. You're not getting warmed up good I'm enough. I'm not getting. Oh, I got a stretch. No. Oh, <laughs> Whoa. I missed the ball. Oh I was my gosh. Kick it. yeah, it's a okay. good thing. I think you might have hit. Oh. Yeah. Professor looks very Professor, tight today. Professor, come on now. You didn't oh. stretch, did you? You I'm were supposed to stretch. Even stretched. Wembley stretched. Ah, oh. okay. oh, very good. Now. Oh, okay. wait a minute, I got the ball now. This is good okay. exercise. Okay. No, we're, that's what you do to start oh. your feet up. Okay. You move it's, the ball it's, around. It's down the ground. Like this, okay, okay. That, move it, you can push tricky, it back. Pete. She's like well, exercising. But maybe if I'd have my like USA Olympic, uh, you know, warm up sweats on, I could do stuff like that too, Pete. Yeah, USA, I think you just need to USA, practice. USA, USA. Go okay. professor, go like professor, go professor, go professor, go professor. No, they would never say that. Sure they would, Pete. At the university. Okay, so okay. that's good exercise. Okay, okay. That's now okay. then if you just want to get your arms and your hands, you just can do a simple little toss like this. Everybody can do this. Okay, toss. Go ahead, Pete. Sammy Joe, yeah? when, when you grab a donut in the morning and yeah? you go like this and eat it, is that exercise? I don't think so, Pete, because How about they if have you a lot like of calories. three dozen, because then you get... <laughs> your arms, well, it would, would give your arms... Would that be good exercise? No. It would, not really, oh, Pete, because all the calories in the donuts. Just, I was just checking. But it's a good How about if you hold a pizza like this, <laughs> and then eat the whole pizza? Is that a good exercise? I don't think so, Pete. Oh, I was just checking. Look at the <laughs> professor. Oh, professor. Okay, so oh, now we're going to what? Okay, we're doing we're gonna throw the ball Right, up just do yeah, simple things. Okay, so I have to throw that over there. There you go. Okay. Yeah, like that? Then we can bounce it. Okay, we can bounce it up. See? Pete doing that. Look Good. At that. This is almost like yeah, sure. This is almost like okay. Now you can kind stuff. of dribble okay. like a basketball and move it around. Here you go, Professor. Pete, I saw you with your milk this morning. You dribbled a little bit too. I missed. Drank it. Oops. Remember that? Yeah, that was a dribble. That was a dribble too. Okay, yeah. so so we're bouncing, we're kicking. Right. You know no, I what? I always too. thought was fun too. You what? take a waste basket. Yeah. You take a waste basket and you like you pick a waste basket and you set it out and you pretend and you you like throw it in there and, and yeah, try to should, try to make a goal. You should ask mom or dad Absolutely. first. Absolutely. Well, sure. You could break something. Well, sure, but if you use a you soft enough ball. You could break something ball, in the house. Well, that's true, Pete. But at the lab, they let us do it all the time. Okay. So I think I'm gonna go over there and play. Well, let's so, keep bouncing. Okay. We'll be back with more fun. This is cool exercise, Sammy. All right. Hey, that was neat. Do that again. Woo! <laughs> Like that. You're watching Pete McTee's Clubhouse. The views expressed by the professor do not necessarily represent those of management. Again, and welcome back to Pete McTee's Clubhouse. You know, earlier in the show, we mentioned we have a special guest, and she'll be stopping by here in just a minute or two, and we're going to talk about a really cool sport. That's right. Uh, come on in. Did you and say a special guest and a really cool sport? Professor, what are you doing? Well, Pete, you You're know. You're taller. That's right, I'm taller, Pete, because I'm wearing skates. You know, I heard today we're going to have a hockey guest on. Is it going to be Wayne Gretzky? No, it's is not it going to be Wayne. Uh, is it going to get Rogi Vachon? No, it's not going to be Rogi Vachon. Is it, it going to be uh, Sue Apps? No, it's not going to be her either. Or to him. Oh, I thought hockey is great. Hockey, one of the greatest sports ever invented. You know, where guys can get out there and, 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 and girls, and they can get out there and they can play, they can skate. Professor, is they this can a shoot. real hockey stick? That's a real hockey stick, buddy. Okay, uh, what's real? this called when they like hit, that's in, uh, called hit the, you right there? It's called slashing or kneeing, Pete. Oh, does that, did that hurt? Well, no, because I'm Does this wearing, hurt? Uh, when they do that, like. Does Whoa, that hurt, okay, that's in like shop reverberation. You should never do that when you no, play. No, because you get a penalty. Okay, should you do this? 
No, How no, about she, this? Hey, we don't have to go through all of the rules because some of, some of them involve, you know, like. Sorry, um, Scooter, I hit Scooter. Yeah, I know. In the belly. He should, he should uh, yeah. talk to you about that. But anyway, careful. I thought. Okay, Scooter. <laughs> I thought, you know, with the uh, hockey program, you know, and everything, we ought to talk more about hockey. Now, Professor, you're dressed like an ice hockey player. Well, yeah, you have your shirt and your big gloves mm -hmm. and your stick and your ice yep. uh, skates. Yeah. And mm -hmm. what are these pad things? These are called? knee pads, uh huh. And your helmet thingy. Ah, oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. And all that. Mm -hmm. But you right. know what, Professor? What? We're not talking about ice hockey. What? When I told you on the phone that we were talking about hockey, what? Well, we're talking what? about. Excuse me, excuse me. Yeah. What? what other kind of hockey is there, Pete? Well, there's field hockey. That's where you don't play on the ice, you play on a field. Well, is that like in rural, do they play that like down on the farm and stuff like no, that? No, they field? play it all over, they play it in colleges and all over the world. You goofball, well, well, you should have listened to me when I said field hockey on the telephone and you thought I said ice hockey. Well, wait, no, no I didn't Pete, no, absolutely not. I, I, not for one minute did I think differently. We have a special guest who is a field hockey player. Her name is Pam, and she's going to be here soon, you know. She is? Yeah. Let me go look outside. She may okay. be coming down the walkway here, Professor. Field hockey player. Oh, she's here already. Come on in, Pam. Now, this is a field hockey player, Professor. Whoa. Hi, Pam. Hi. Yeah. How this are is, you? This is Pam Niece. Hi, Pam. How are you doing, Professor Noodles? Nice what? to meet you. Right. I have a Welcome present to the for you both. House. Hi, oh, Pete. Oh, do you really? Sure do. Hey, okay, Pam. Okay. What do we got? I have two World Cup hockey pins. <gasps> One for oh, each of you. We wow. exchange the pins before we play games when we play that other countries. That is so cool. It's, well, it says in, Women's Hockey World Cup Ireland. See, in, yes. in ice hockey, we exchange teeth before the games. You know, that yeah, is a true. gesture of friendship. You know, Professor. Kind of you know, that's Pam nice. Pam is just not a regular field mm -hmm. hockey player. Pam's on the U.S. Women's Field Hockey Team. That's the Olympic team. You mean like the, the... The team that goes to the Olympics. You mean the team that, with the big flaming thing that uh, yeah, burns Yeah, the and, thing, ringy things and the, the, you know, Wow, that she's stuff. like an Olympian. You're Hope an Olympian, that's the word. <laughs> that Professor, oh, get okay, up. Okay. okay, yeah. That's pretty neat. So, and you brought your field hockey I stick? Brought, they're I brought rockers, you aren't a they? stick, Pete. Okay. Here, I'll give you the taller Look, they're one. different than hockey, ice hockey sticks, they aren't are. they? They are. They are. Yeah. He gets to use both sides of his stick. I okay. can only use one. You can only use the front the flat part here. Part right here. Okay. Wait a minute. You turn that back around there. You, I know. You have to go over the ball to dribble because I can't use the round side. And what are field hockey balls? Are they like rubber? Rubber, plastic. They're they're hard wow. like a baseball. Like so, a baseball. So if yeah. I have to dribble field hockey, I'd have to dribble like yep. that with a hockey stick. Mm -hmm. Pretty. So you have to That's go like pretty this good. and keep. Just use the front part well, of the stick. Right. Huh? Wait, wait now, if you use this part, do they do they yell at you? They blow a whistle and you oh, have to stop the Oh, I hate when game. that happens when they blow the whistle. Well, now, now where's your heavy gloves? I don't need gloves. Where, where's your big gloves? Uh, where's your like, knee pads? It. That's it. Where's your shoulder pads? Where's your pants like this? Professor, I told it's you. It's a finesse game. This is not ice hockey. It's field hockey, mm -hmm. and finesse is a big word for fancy. Fancy. No. Well, kind of having fancy. a kind nice of fancy. way of doing things. Yeah. Yes. Wow. That's Finesse is mean you have to it's be not really good at something. Okay, so where did you play? Where, where was your biggest uh, game that you played? Oh, I just played in Ireland this past summer at the World Cup. Did you use your shillelagh? <laughs> No. Huh. No, no, they, they use their whackers, Pete. Like the whackers. Right there. Oh, in Ireland, I thought they were called shillelaghs. No, 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 Pete. They, they have to use these things right here. Oh, okay. But I see how they're, they're curved. Hold this once there, Scooter. Here, you want to hold the okay. field this is, hockey this stick? That's pretty neat, because, you know, like, okay. if you really, if you get hurt, you can, like, always just, like, walk off. No, the you can't do that, you goofball. Oh, okay. well, this is pretty sharp. Now, now, Pam, did you play in high school and in college? And yes. Is that how you learn how to play? Mm -hmm. I played in high school. I played in Lancaster. Oh, that's, I know where that is. Yep, right yeah. down the corner. Yeah, you you turn, you turn left at that place. Yes. Yeah. And what about in college? Did you play? I played hockey? down in Virginia. In Virginia. Mm -hmm. At Old Dominion. At Old Dominion. Professor, we're li listen to Pam. She's <laughs> telling us about the, the the Old Dominion place. She right? played in Old Dominion. Yeah, down in Virginia. That's right. Okay. I understand. And where did you learn how to play field hockey? Well, I first learned how to play hockey up in Lancaster uh -huh. in high school. Yeah. When did you decide that you wanted to be an Olympic champion? Just yesterday. Just yesterday. <laughs> wow, that sounds oh. like something that they don't plan overnight, that's for hey, sure. Pam, you're wearing a special medal. Mm -hmm. Let's show Captain Cool that. Now, what this what is, medal is that? This is the bronze medal from the World Cup that I got in Ireland <gasps> this summer. Bronze means there's there's gold, silver, and bronze. bronze. First, second, and third. And third. Well, you yes. Know, wow, and what's on the, the other side? Cup one time. <gasps> it's a little emblem from the Irish Ladies Hockey Union. 
Wow, Since we were over in Ireland. That, that, that must, mm -hmm. You must be very proud to get a cool medal yes, like I that. Am. Yes, I am. You know, you know Pete, I, I won a gold medal once, and I was so proud of it, I had it bronzed. I really was. Mm -hmm. Professor, you what? don't bronze gold medals. Well, they do with baby shoes and stuff. Yeah, but, but when you I, win a gold medal, it should stay gold. Mm -hmm. Isn't that That's right, Pam? No wonder yes. nobody okay. wants to look at it. Well, let's ask Pam some okay. other questions, okay. Okay? okay? Now, do you have to, you know, Sammy Joe always has us exercising mm -hmm. and everything. Do you have to exercise and stay oh, in yes. shape to play field hockey? Yeah, we exercise all the time. Uh -huh. You got to stay in shape so you run and you lift and you play all the time. On the Can you eat donuts thing. when you play field hockey? Not really. Not really. You got to eat healthy, mm -hmm. okay. just like Sammy Joe says. Eat and when you're everything a, healthy. When you you're a world-class athlete like you, Pam, like me. No, oh. Not you, no, oh, not, not okay. you. You have to really be a good person and stay away from drugs and all mm -hmm. that stuff, right? No drugs. That no will drugs. harm your body. Get yeah. high on life. Get high right. on yeah. field hockey. High on well, field what happens hockey. now? I got a question. What happens like when when your ball hits another ball? Do you like get to put your foot on it like this and and no, smack it down? No, that's croquet, isn't it? Yes. Well, that's a finesse game. You know, but that's you, a game you play at picnics. Ball. Oh, oh, that's not a finesse game. Oh, well, no, wait a minute. I think I did see this game one time because you, you're out there, you're running around, and you, you, they're whackers. They're whackers. whackers, they're whackers. And, and you like, hit it into a net, don't mm -hmm. you? you hit is it that in your goalie's school. name? Annette. Uh, no, a, well, it could be. It oh, could be. It could be Annette. Ours is goal? Patty. It's Patty. So patty it's not Annette. A, you, throw, you hit it into a net, not like a Patty is a, is a goalie. A net is that thing, the mesh thing. Pete, right? This is, right. A, this is a confusing game. It is. You know, I, and, I think maybe. And girls and boys play field yes. hockey, don't they? Mm -hmm. Boys play it also. So what well, advice would you give the boys and girls watching at home if you wanted to be an Olympian? How do you do that? I would say you just go out and you have fun uh -huh. and you play and compete as hard as you can uh -huh. and just enjoy it. And you work very hard, Oh, right? yes, work and if, very if hard. if you lose or something, you, you, what should you do? Well, you'd be a good loser as well as a good winner. And keep going, right? Yep, and keep most trying. definitely. Well, we want to thank, Professor, stop that. We want to thank Pam Neese, who's on the Olympic field hockey team. Let's hear it for our Pam, boys. An Olympian! Let's, let's go, yeah! yeah. Thanks for being on our show Thank you. and teaching us about field hockey. We'll be back with more fun. Don't go away. I, I hey, can watch teach that you how whacker, to skate Professor. Okay. Yeah, watch that. You want to pass? Okay. Pass it around there. Okay. Hey, Professor, what are you mixing? A new formula for instant commercials. A formula for what? Commercials, Pete. Commercials. Watch this. Uh oh. Welcome back to Pete McTee's Clubhouse. Step inside and join the fun. Today, my book of the week is called, How Does the Wind Walk? It's a book about the different types of experiences a young boy has with the wind. You see, in the autumn, the little boy likes to pile up the leaves and sit in the middle of them. The wind, on the other hand, walks in a whirl, twirling the leaves around and around. How does the wind walk in the winter? The wind walks with a slip on the ice, while the boy wraps his animals in a blanket so they won't get cold. How does the wind walk in the spring? The wind walks with a trick up her sleeve and with a bounce in her step, taking a hat there and a kite here. It causes the little boy to sing a song for his torn kite. How does the wind walk in the summer? The wind walks in a huff, flapping clothes in her stiff breeze. The boy puffs his stick boat off into the world, and then without a word, he turns and grins like the wind. To find out more about how the wind walks and the little boy's adventures, read How Does the Wind Walk? A very scientific book, How Does the Wind Walk? It was a good book to read, written by Nancy White Karlstrom. And, you know, if Professor were here, I would tell him about this book, then he could read it, and, and he could explain to me how the wind does all that, and he goes, goes all over the ice, and, you know, it whirls the... Uh... Hello, Pete. Hello, Pete. Oh, Professor, that's not you. That's a whacker that's stick a whacker. I'm from Pete. Field Hockey. What do you mean, Pete? Uh, come on over here, Professor, you I'm goofball. Here, how does the wind walk? Yeah, is that science, Professor? Well, I probably wear sneakers so I can, like, get around without making yeah. too much noise. You, you know, sometimes it's real windy outside, uh -huh. and sometimes it's not. 
you know, Pete, that was very profound of you. Yeah. Pretty silly, is but that profound. Science? Well, yes, it is, Pete. Yes, okay. it is, Pete. You know, and sometimes you play field hockey, and sometimes you play ice hockey. Professor, you were are you, are you in the wrong sport. Pete, are you like are you like show. trying to make a point here? Yes, okay. you came out wearing an ice hockey thing. You know, with the big old hat and the big pads uh, on the legs, you, Pete, and that big you know made you have, look Pete, like you had a, Pete, a hello, big, hello, big Pete, hello, Pete, rear end thing hello, there. Pete. That big thing that was what? Those are it's called pads, you know, are you, right? Do you think it was maybe a lack of communication on your part by not conveying to me over the phone exactly what professor, kind of hockey we yeah, were talking about? I called you and I said, Professor, yes. we have a special guest. I'm real excited. Her name is Pam Neeson. She's and she's nice. an ice hockey player. And, and No, you said she's a nice hockey player. That's what you said? I you said, said she was a nice hockey player. Yeah, but I said... Pam Neese, who's a nice hockey player. There you go, right is, there. Now let's run that back. Let she me, was let me replay coming that. over <laughs> here from the field. Let me let me replay that. <laughs> Pam Neese, who is a nice hockey player, is coming over. Now, Pete, from the field. What do you make? What makes so you think So field that, hockey, get it? Pete, that's why yeah, I got. I didn't it. say she was coming over from the ice rink. No, I Pete. said she's Pete. over at the field. Can't get out of it now, buddy. Playing hockey. Pete, can't get out of it now, Pete. You messed up. You told me the wrong sport, so don't complain when I come here my ice hockey. Well, it was fun learning about Oh, I had a ball, you know. Field like, hockey. A and, ball, get it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, yeah. And it was fun learning about field hockey and, and being a, an Olympian. Right. And, and It's hard work. It's dedication. But right. it's also fun. And it's fun, too. That's right. And we had fun today. That's right. And that's dedication, too. Yeah. And we hope you join us next time on Pete McTee's Clubhouse. All right, Bye, everybody. everybody. See you next time. Bye, everybody. Watch that stick there, Professor. Goodbye, Pete. Goodbye, kid. Uh-oh. Uh-oh.